And it's stated that at the present, uh, they don't know how many lives have been lost as a result of that devastation. In Las Vegas, Nevada, some deranged man rented a room and decided for some unknown reason uh, that he was going to open fire on a massive crowd of more than 20,000. As we look into nature, there have been hurricane after hurricane uh, treading on each other's heels. There in some of the islands in the Caribbean, there are people that don't know where their next clean cup of water is going to come from. And when you begin to count the lives that have been lost uh, just over the past several months, in the wake of these recent storms there in Mexico, an earthquake. Many lives were lost. Yes, I'm trying to say something very simple today. Is that when we look to the streets of Bessemer, Alabama, yes, whether we go a little further uh, to Birmingham and, and to Montgomery, uh, some of our major cities, to Tuscaloosa, uh, whether we go on to New York City, Chicago, there are too many of our young men, lives are being lost yes, to gun violence. We are living in some perilous times. And there's something that's very important. There's something that, that, that the world needs. With our President Donald Trump in the office, whether it was President Barack Obama, the world still needs the same thing. Man needs to hear about what Dr. William Walker talked about, Jesus. Jesus. He, he talks about Jesus. The world needs to hear about Jesus. It was the first century A.D. The Apostle Paul lived in some perilous times. Paul, who was a Scholar studied at the feet of Dr. Gamaliel. Mm -hmm. All right. yes, sir. A very learned and articulate man, very much like our pastor. Mm -hmm. yes. Paul was an Orthodox Jew who was persuaded yeah. uh, that, that Judaism uh, and the practices of Judaism was the only way that one could achieve salvation in terms of being eternally with the Father. And there was a new doctrine in town. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, uh, Paul, when Stephen, the, the deacon, uh, who was filled with the Holy Spirit, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, they stoned him, and it was Paul that was standing right there. Amen. Uh -huh. Doctor of the law, who was persuaded uh, that it was just uh, to stone a man like Stephen, right. who was preaching such heresy. That a man was number one born of a virgin, that sounds like heresy. Who's ever heard of something like that? A heresy uh, that the man uh, doesn't have uh, his earthly father, is not his biological father, that doesn't make sense. Who, who's heard of something like that? As a matter of fact, who has heard of something like a man dying on a Friday evening, uh, staying in the grave for three days, and then raises himself from the grave on the third day? Uh, that sounds like heresy. As a matter of fact, the religious leaders paid uh, the soldiers and those in authority to go and tell the masses uh, that that's a lie. Tell, him, tell the masses that his, his subjects, his disciples just stole them away. Paul had the understanding that that, 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 that that what he had heard about Jesus was all heresy. They were things that just did not make 
sense mathematically. They don't line up scientifically. They don't line up. Uh, it's, uh, they go against the whole nature of, 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 of what it is to just have a norm. Here's this Paul that's standing there and stealing the stone and, and he goes uh, to the authorities of, the, of Judaism and says, I want a letter. I want a letter. And what we need to do, I, I need a letter with an approval so that we can hurry up and soon abolish uh, this vain doctrine uh, that uh, in the words of the religious leaders, uh, this whole message that they're preaching is taking over the world. We need to ban this message. We need to ban this message. And here is this Apostle Paul on his way to Damascus. And I want to submit to you, brothers and sisters, today that, 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 that you and I are not beyond the mighty hand of God. God is sovereign. God is a God who's an all powerful God. And there's nothing beyond the power of God. Here's this sharp, pristine man, a man very articulate, persuaded of that what he's doing is the will of God. And as he's on his way, while he's on the way, uh -huh. he meets the very one he's persecuted. Yes. Paul met Jesus of Nazareth, uh, the one that he thought was a heretic. He met the very man uh, that he was, was persecuting the church for. He met him uh, and found himself blinded for three days. But the Lord had a man by the name of Ananias. He said, I want you to go down to a certain place and, and there's a man named Paul. Uh, he's like my pastor. Uh, he said, you'll find him praying. This is a praying man, y'all. Don't you a praying man. The God I've been with, it, it's, gosh, 20, no, 30 years. It's been 30 years. 30 years. You're praying, man. And now you're going to find him praying. And there are some instructions that you are to give to him. Uh, but but, but Ananias says, but I'm afraid of that man. You uh, want me to, to, to go to this man and the word is out. That there are people that have probably died in Jerusalem. The word is out that, that, that people are being locked up and put in jail because of this man Saul. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And how is it that you will would order me and uh, make such a request of me to go to a man who's like that man, that lunatic, uh -huh. that shot all those people in Long Vegas. Right, right. This is the mind of Ananias. As a matter of fact, you don't believe what I'm saying? Uh, when, when Paul would eventually be converted and he tried to, to join himself with the apostles, they were leery of him because they figured this fellow is an assassin. Amen. I find hope uh, in the conversion of Paul and that God can reach down in the bottom of a barrel and find a fellow like Calvin or Victor. And God can take us, find us in our midst fix us up and use him for his glory. Isn't that something? But it was some perilous times. And there, were, there was the conversion of Paul and, and Paul came to realize that the very one he persecuted was really the king of kings and the lord of lords. And so what God says to Ananias as he goes to this blind Paul, as Ananias is questioning Paul's legitimacy and, and, and whether he uh, is a man that's to be trusted, uh, God tells Ananias, he says, uh, he says, uh, go, for he is a chosen vessel of man. God chose Paul. God chose Saul. God chose him. Dr. Victor, Victor Hawkins, it was God chose you to serve in this hallowed place. To be the one who would come behind that great man that you eulogized on yesterday. Dr. Leo Dawson. God, God, God had chosen you. God had chosen you for that very purpose, Pastor. Amen. 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 
Lord sent me by here this afternoon just to say to you what you already know. And that is that he has chosen you. These are dark and difficult times. These are perilous times. But pastor, preacher, you got to remember that God has chosen you. Ken, God has chosen you. Yes, sir. Who, those to whom God chooses, God equips them for the very thing that he has chosen. Amen. God said.